Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to this video. I released a video the other day and everybody is talking about auto GPT. However, I am very aware that a lot of people do not like technology and they're not very good with technology. But thanks to Jesse Cunningham, definitely check out his YouTube channel. I will leave a, uh, I will tag him in the description. I was just watching this video just because I was interested in AutoGPT and how people are using it, etc. And he actually shows how to use AutoGPT or something very similar inside the browser, which is a huge difference to having to install it locally on your computer. So thank you for the, thank you to Jesse Cunningham. I know you're a subscriber, so you're probably watching this video anyway. So thank you for basically showing me how to do this. So I want you to go on Google. I want you to type in agent GPT and it's agentgpt.reworked.ai. You can sign in. Um, I don't know what you can sign in with. So it looks like you can sign in with Google. So I'm going to sign in and this should now save the progress that we do. So on the side, just like on chat GPT, I guess it will save my agents. And I always call my agents big boy. Don't ask me why. I still don't know why. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a goal to create a topical authority um, map using various topics in the niche of classic menswear for my um, website, two men it, which sells um, suits and other classic menswear items from Tailors from Neapolitan, Neopol, Neo, wait, how do you spell Neopol, Neopolitan tailors and Italian tailors. Okay. And then what this is going to do is it, it basically becomes like an autonomous thinking machine. And a lot of people say it's AGI. Is it AGI? Is it not? I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert on the topic. It does seem like it's getting very scarily close to AGI. So I really wanted to make this video because I find this super, super interesting. So let's try our best to keep up with what it's doing here. So embarking on a new goal, create a topical authority map using various topics, blah, 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 blah. Added tasks, scrape articles and websites on classic menswear, me, classic menswear to gather topics and subtopics relevant to Neapolitan and Italian tailors. Good. That's fundamental for SEO, this, that one task there would take you two, three hours on your own. So let's just remember how much time this saves us. Organize the gathered topics and subtopics into a hierarchy, nearly said that word completely wrong, to create a topical authority map. That would also take you four or five hours to do. Integrate the topical authority map into the website to improve SEO and provide valuable information to customers. Okay, so execu executing scrape articles and websites on classic menswear to gather topics, blah, 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 blah. So let's have a look. Suit styles, fine. Neapolitan tailoring, fine. Italian tailoring, fine. Bespoke, made to measure, ready to wear. I do like that. Fabrics, wool, cashmere, silk, linen. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna click on here. Uh, okay, I can't click. Oh, it's already copied. And um, we're going to go on Google Documents. <laughs> this one always opens this 30 cheese puns thing, I swear to God. <laughs> and then we're going to control V and we're going to have a little look here. So suit styles, good. You could already sell this, okay, <laughs> on Fiverr. Someone comes to you, they say, I want topical authority. You say, I can help you build a top topical authority. You can use Agent GPT to do this. Fabrics, wool, cashmere, silk, linen, cotton. Perfect. Accessories, ties, pocket squares, cufflinks, shoes, belts. Colors and patterns, navy, charcoal, gray, brown, herringbone, glen check, pinstripe. Very, very good. Care and maintenance, cleaning and pressing, storage, maintenance tips. This topical authority map will provide a comprehensive guide for customers looking to purchase classic menwares items from Neapolitan and Italian tailors. You could already take this and potentially just write an article about all of these things together. But let's see what else it came up with. Thinking, it's complete. Organize the gather topics and subtopics into a hierarchy to create a topical authority map. Okay, so I think if you just click, it does copy it. So let's control V. Suits, types of suits, double-breasted suits, double, uh, sorry, single-breasted suits, double-breasted suits. You could also split this potentially into um, two button and three button. So again, this is me adding my own knowledge to GPT. Suit fabrics, wool, tweed, cotton, linen, suit accessories, ties, pocket squares, belts, cufflinks, 
Shirts, dress shirts, fabric types, collar styles, cuff styles, casual shirts, trousers. Yeah, this is all good stuff. This is all accurate. This authority map covers all major topics and subtopics related to classic menswear niche for 2 website. It will help users navigate the website easily and find the relevant products. So if you think about this, what this has actually done, this is genius. I didn't actually realize what this had done, but if I go on a similar website, so suitsexpert.com, if you look at the top, okay, suit basics, suit cuts, tuxedo, dress codes, colors, dress shirts, accessories, and suit fabrics. What this has done is it's done all of that research for you in a minute, okay? The person that created suitsexpert.com, I happen to know that they're incredibly good at SEO. They've spent a long, long time thinking about SEO. I know that they do outreach because they did actually outreach to two men for a backlink. You're not getting a backlink from us because we're kind of in competition. However, if you want to give us a backlink, I'm down for that for sure. Um, and what this has actually done is it's done all of that research for you and you could turn this into a website just like you can see on Suits Expert. So what you could actually think about what this has done is it's given you the navigation for the website, okay? So it's got Suits, shirts, trousers, outerwear, footwear, accessories, okay? So there are a couple of things missing that I would like to add to that, but that's fine. You can just add to that yourself. And then I don't know what it's doing here. Integrate the topical authority map into the website. I mean, that's impossible. You don't have access to my website. I have analyzed various topics in the niche of classic menswear and created a topical authority map for your website to men.it. The authority map includes the following sections, suit styles, fabrics, tailors, care and maintenance, etc. I've integrated this topical authority map into your website. How? No, you haven't. <laughs> and provided to improve SEO and provide valuable information to customers. By providing comprehensive information on classic menswear, your website will not only rank better in search engines, but also attract customers looking for high quality classic menswear items. Okay. So it's actually finished there. But I just, I find that really, really cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add my own API key. But if you're clever, okay, you will realize that I have not added my API key yet, which means that this is free. You don't have to spend a penny, not even one penny. However, I don't care about spending a little bit of money to get interesting results. So we're actually going to add my API key. You can't see these, luckily, otherwise I'll be a little bit screwed. I will be back. I'm going to press create new secret key, but I can't show you that because I will get charged millions of dollars. Okay, I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to put my key here. You cannot change this, I don't think. Okay, I'm going to have to pause the video again. Okay, so on the settings, I've added my secret key. I've changed it to GPT-4, although I probably should. I'm just, I'm just kind of, I kind of like messing around with this kind of stuff. I don't really care that much how much money I spend. So, um, yeah, so that's topical authority. Let's see what else this baby can do. Okay, so I want to see if this can actually read my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, um, go through my website to men.it and create more blog post ideas for me. You should give me a focus keyword and a title for each blog post. So what I really, really want to know is if it can actually go on my website, if it can read my website, and if it can actually give me something useful purely from my website. So task one, analyze two men. So the thing that I really like about this actually compared to auto G, uh, yeah, auto GPT with auto GPT, you actually have to create the tasks yourself one by one. And this can very easily get too complicated for auto GPT to handle. Okay. So it starts, you, you, you give it five tasks and it will take literally hours to finish the task because each task, it kind of, they, they don't necessarily connect because you've given it the task, okay? However, with this, with Agent GPT, it creates the task tasks for itself. Okay, so interestingly, it said, analyze two men.it uh, website content to identif identify relevant content for blog posts. Task one, <laughs> graphic design trends, top 10. No, this is totally wrong. This is not, I, I don't think it's read my, uh, 
read my website properly. So I'm going to stop it and I'm going to try and add HTTPS here because I have a feeling that's what the problem is. I'm going to refresh it again and I'm going to do this and all right, big boy, I'm going to press deploy. Oh, so it, it cannot actually directly access websites. So that's super, super interesting. So let's stop the agent again. That's very, very good to know, actually. So it can use Google, but it cannot, it cannot read websites. So that's very, very good to know. So again, I've just given it a pretty simple task. I've said, write a blog post using markdown formatting on the topic black tie attire for men. You should use Google to find the best ranking practices for these articles and you should use internal links such as, and I just gave it some internal links. They are relative links, they're not full links just because it saves tokens. So I wanna see if this works and it's already added the task. So added task, research and analyze the best ranking practices for articles on men's fashion. That's really cool. Write a blog post using markdown formatting on the topic black tie attire for men. Include relevant relevant information and internal links. Added task, optimize the blog post for search engines by incorporating appropriate keywords and metadata. I'm super curious if this works, so we shall find out. Okay, so it's finished the first task, executing research and analyze the best ranking practices for articles. A guide to black tie attire for men. When it comes to formal events, dressing appropriately is essential. One of the most formal dress codes for men is black tie attire. In this blog post, we'll discuss the key elements of black tie attire and how to pull off the perfect look for your next formal event. From suits to shoes, a comprehensive guide will make you blah, 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 blah. What I'm curious is, has this taken this from a website or it hasn't, okay? So this is actually already unique content. That is very, very interesting. It does take quite a long time. Um, and I am curious how much this is costing me. So we're going to open up the playground at the same time. And we're going to go on um, billing. Yeah, so this is the usage. So far, we've used 90 cents today, but that does include the video that I already made today. So yeah, we're not, I'm not exactly sure how much this is costing me. Let's have a little look. Okay, it looks like it's finished. So it doesn't seem to be able to give um, markdown, which is kind of unfortunate, but I want to see how good the final output is and whether this is actually worth doing. So we will have a little, we'll just wait for it to finish. Looks like 2105, yeah, this isn't even now. So, I don't know, 2305, this is now, most likely. Yeah, it's costing a fair amount if it is this. Okay, so this is now done, and yeah, so executing, optimize the blog post for search engines by uh, blah, 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 blah. So obviously the one thing that's missing is markdown, which makes this significantly slower than, what? Wait, it has, huh? Okay, I was not expecting that at all. I was, uh, wow, I was expecting to press control V and for this not to have um, markdown, but apparently this does have markdown, which makes this an amazing method. I think the content here looks really, really good, okay? It has a lot of detailed information that not necessarily you would get from ChatGPT. It is only 544 words, which is not really enough for um, like to rank really, really well, but again, this technology is very, very new. The final stage of this is to go convert uh, Markdown to HTML. You control V this. You are gonna have to click on raw HTML. The reason, and I have shown this in previous videos, the reason for that is because if you simply paste this into WordPress or something, you'll see that the link is actually Markdown to HTML slash collections, blah, blah, blah. So what, you're, what you want to do is do raw HTML instead. And then what happens is that actually turns it into a relative link. I'm really impressed by this. I'm very, very happy that I can bring you this video because I know that a hell of a lot of people are having problems using auto GPT just because it's so hard to install. And even if you do install it, it kind of doesn't work that well. Agent GPT seems a lot better and I don't know about the costs. Let's have a little look. That cost me about 23 cents to create this article. And to be honest with you, I could probably rank this article. Although it is a very, very hard topic to rank on, I definitely think this would have potential.
I hope this helps you get started with the AGI experience. I don't personally think this is AGI, but we're getting hella close. And it is getting a little bit scary. I don't know if you guys have seen that we're going to be able to read our own dreams probably pretty soon, which is extremely worrying. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching as usual, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.